Two can keep a secret if one of them is dead. Oops. <laughs> That's definitely going to leave a mark. Just ugh, have to get you into this chair. Oh. <sighs> there. I should have put more thought into this. This would have been a lot easier if they were awake. And where did I put that duct tape? And I'm going to need that rope. Got to make sure they can't move once they get up. Or make any noises. <laughs> All right. Got it. Just got to get this tape around your body. Oh, and your feet. Got to get there. And this goes on that pretty little mouth of yours. <laughs> there. Perfect. <sighs> that was a whole workout. What time is it? I have a few minutes. And where did I put those syringes? Here it is. Okay. So about one milliliter. Should do the job. It'll just knock them out for a minute. Then the paralysis will set in. Shit. <sighs> okay. Coming. I'll just hide this behind my back. Hey, honey. Welcome home. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> you got me flowers? White roses, my favorite. Hopefully they don't turn red tonight. Hmm? Oh, nothing. <laughs> mm. Before I forget, I have a surprise for you. Yeah, let's put this blindfold on you. Tonight's going to be very, very special. <laughs> now give me a big hug. I missed you. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this might hurt a little. <clears throat> oh, oh, you're so heavy. Come on, this way. Oh, let's get you to the table. Oh. <sighs> Great. Perfect timing. Dinner's ready. I made your favorite. Let's pull this out the oven. <sighs> Smells delicious, right? Oh, and as you can see, we have a special guest for tonight. Oh, right. You can't see. Let me take the blindfold off. Surprise! <laughs> Familiar face, huh? Don't worry. She's just sleeping. So let me explain. A couple weeks ago, on my way to get groceries, I noticed that you left your lunch. So, being the loving wife that I am, I tried dropping it off. Yeah. <laughs> I even baked cookies for everyone. Anyways... I get there, and to my surprise, you weren't in your office. Your car wasn't even in the parking lot. And so, naturally, I went looking for your assistant. What was her name again? Something with a B. B, B Brenda. Yes. <laughs> and she wasn't there either. According to your coworker, Jeff, she was fired three weeks ago. And you got a new one. <laughs> Reasonably, I was confused because you never said anything about a new assistant. I just find it odd that you didn't mention it. I mean, every time you come home, I ask about work and 
Anyways, <laughs> I left your lunch on your desk, and I couldn't help but notice that you had a reservation for lunch at that new restaurant up the street. What's it called? Ah, Wifey's. Yeah, so on my way out, I took a picture of your assistant's calendar, and funny enough, she had lunch at the same time. <sighs> what a coincidence. Obviously, I found that very suspicious, so I did what any concerned wife would do, and I drove past the restaurant. Big windows, and I know you like to people watch when we go out, and there you were, with her. <laughs> I'm really big on body language, so it was pretty obvious what was going on. Holding her hand, <sighs> I didn't know what to do. Do I go in? confront you. I mean, I had to pick up Junior from practice at two, so I just decided to finish running errands. Anyways, while I was in the store, I got a new knife set. Apparently, they're chef's grade. They won an award. It was kind of expensive, so I'm sorry, but look at them. <laughs> Apparently, they slice through just about anything. <clears throat> Let's dish out. The table looks beautiful. The flowers, I mean, it's the perfect centerpiece. I almost feel bad now. <laughs> Here's your plate, and she can starve for all I care. <laughs> Reasonably so. Finding out your spouse is cheating on you is a lot to process, so... To keep busy, I've been doing a little gardening, and I got a little curious because I remembered the guy we bought the house from said that we should remove those purple flowers and keep Junior away from them. So I did some research, you know, because I'm a caring mother, right? And you would not believe what those flowers were. Wolfsbane, also known as aconite. Hmm? I didn't hear you. You're mumbling. I'm sure you're wondering what's happening. That little injection I gave you? It's a paralytic. See, I was hoping you would come clean about it. Or even better, just tell me I misunderstood the situation, but it's been more and more obvious. Honestly, I don't know how I didn't find out sooner. Coming home later than usual. Always taking private calls. You weren't even being subtle about it. Almost like you wanted me to find out. So... Given I had a photo of her schedule, I planned this out. She does pretty much the same thing every week. Gym, work, normal stuff. So, today I paid her a visit at the gym. Mm-hmm. I'm really handy. You know me. Good old bobby pin can pick a lock. So when she went to the showers, I broke into her locker, put a little something in her protein shake, <laughs> and boy was she thirsty takes a minute for it to work. So once I did all of that, I just waited in the parking garage and knocked her out, got her in the trunk and brought her here. It's been a few hours, so it should be wearing off. As for you, just so you have an idea, what you're experiencing right now is paralysis. Can't talk, can't move, but you can still be present. Oh, and to ease your mind, I dropped Junior off with your parents for the weekend. He didn't see anything. Yeah, I figured that they'd want some quality time with their grandkid. So, I told them the usual mom thing. How I need a break, and how you've been working so much, and how I'm stressed out. I mean, which isn't really a lie, so... Ugh, where are my manners? How rude of me. I feel like our guest should be a part of this conversation. Wake up. Hi, I'm the wife. I'm sure you know about me. I mean, it's not like there isn't a thousand pictures of us in his office. Anyways, let's get you up to speed. I know what's been going on. And last night was the last straw for me. You left your phone on the bed when you were taking a shower. So, of course I went through it. How could I pass up an opportunity like that, right? The first thing I checked was your call log. 
so many calls after midnight with work. I made my way to the text messages, and I guess you can say it was instinct. I saw everything. The pictures, the kiss emojis, the come over text. I mean, honey, what were you thinking? How could you even do this to me? To our family? Every day, I make sure that this house is spotless. I iron your suits every morning. I make breakfast. I pack your lunch. I make sure you come home to a hot meal. I do everything. Everything. And you do this to me? <laughs> you know, I've sacrificed so much for you. I gave up my dream job. I moved across the country. I relocated my entire life just so you could follow your dreams and be close to your family. For fuck's sake, I gave you a family. Do you know how difficult it is doing everything I do with a newborn? I barely even had to work out because the stress made me lose so much weight. I even took Pilates classes just to make sure that you'd still be attracted to me. And something changed. I knew something was off. You're always tired or not in the mood. I have to initiate any physical intimacy. God, I practically throw myself at you. <sighs> so, what was the plan here? What? You have an affair? Leave me? Our family? For what? An intern? Assistant? Whatever you call yourself? She doesn't even know you. When you had nothing, I was there. I've been there for you through every up and down since we were in college. Do you really think she'd do that for you? What is it about her? Because I've been the perfect wife. You might provide the boat, but I'm the one steering it. If it weren't for me, you'd lose your mind. I mean, really, do you even know how much effort it takes to run a household? Even better, do you even know anything about our child? Huh? What's Junior's pediatrician's name? His allergies? His blood type? Even if you weren't paralyzed, you couldn't name one. That's what I do for you. And you think she could do better? Baby. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <sighs> honey, honey, I love you. No one is going to love you the way that I do. No one. Do you hear me? You clearly haven't been thinking straight because you can't deny I make you feel good, right? I know your body like the back of my hand. I satisfy every fantasy. She doesn't know what you like. All of those things that make you weak. Like when you make me rub your shoulders while you eat dinner. Like this. Or when I kiss your neck. Like this. It's okay. She can watch. Maybe she could learn a thing or two. Does she know how you like to get undressed? When I unbutton your suit? Like this. <sighs> Only I can do these things to you. Don't I make you feel good, baby? Hmm? Your body doesn't lie. You see that? I'm talking to you. Do you see this? That's what I do. See what I do to you? Mm. And when I kiss you, like this. And unbuckle your belt. And get on my knees. 
just like this. Oh, is she crying? <laughs> Aw, you're crying. I know, I know. It must hurt to watch, right? Imagine how all this makes me feel. You thought you could ruin my family. I'm his wife. No one's going to help you. So you're going to sit there and you're going to watch. <laughs>